All new this morning with more than 500,000 podcasts to choose from. More and more people are listening to them than ever before. And two Valley comedians host the Small Town Murder podcast. And this morning, they're showing us how they're breaking into the market in a way that hasn't been done before. 12 people are dead, including a sheriff's deputy. Investigators say he opened fire inside that synagogue. In a world where death dominates the headlines, two Phoenix dads. My name is James Petrogallo. I'm here with my co-host. I'm Jimmy Wisman. Are discovering a way to find light in the dark. Phoenix comedians James Petrogallo and Jimmy Wisman started the podcast Small Town Murder just two years ago. Welcome to Small Town Murder. Yay! The pair promises a new episode every week packed with murder, blunt honesty. We make fun of small towns. And belly laughs. <laughs> Something that comes naturally for James and Jimmy. Jimmy, we're talking about murder in here. You're like, hold on, I'll be there in a few minutes. But make no mistake, these comedians play by strict rules. Small Town Murder focuses exclusively on murders in towns with a population of 30,000 people or fewer. Whether it's a cowboy town or something, it's now it's still a cowboy town. Got to set that up. We set up uh, the economics of the town. Um, you know, how much money do people make here? Sure. Is, it a, is it a wealthier town? Mm -hmm. Is it a less uh, affluent town? Set all that up and we do a real estate report and tell you all about the houses <laughs> available to you uh, in this to give you an idea. James does all the legwork. It's big, I think. This, ah, it's the, the root of the show. It's Digging through decades old court documents, paperwork and newspaper archives to find every detail possible. So I really, really want everything to be correct and to try to get every bit of information as possible because it's a murder, it's somebody's right. life. It's yeah. worth it's worth uncovering, un it's worth turning over all the stones, Certainly. I feel like. The interesting thing is Jimmy doesn't hear the podcast until you do, allowing him to react alongside listeners. I gauge what the audience is gonna feel based on his reaction. So if his eyes go wide, I go, ooh, we got something interesting here. Yeah, the audience is gonna be into this. The experience is interactive as the two answer questions from fans all around the world. We're dedicated to the show yeah. and, uh, and and, and we care about the people that listen to it. When people comment to us, uh, whether it's on social media or send an email, we do our best. We work very hard to respond or reply or yeah. give some sort of, of credit to the question. Mm -hmm. And we take them all seriously, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. Fans from every inch of the globe developing a cult following, coming together online, some making trips to meet in person, creating a community that credits small town murder with giving the tools to cope with death, suicide, depression, and addiction. We make fun of murderers. What yeah. else can we do? We're comedians. So next time you find yourself in a dark place, in need of a laugh. That's hilarious. For just want to escape from your life. So if that sounds good to you. Yeah. Take a wild trip to a small town with Jimmy and James. I think it's time for everybody out there in your cubicles, on your Stairmasters, wherever you may be, let's all shout it together. <laughs> Shut up and give, give me murder! murder. <laughs> Listen to it on the way in. I will warn you, there's a couple of uh, four-letter words uh, peppered through those podcasts, too. So proceed with caution if you've got kids in the car. Right now, Small Town Murder has 96 episodes posted already. Available free online. You just search Small Town Murder Podcast online or on your podcasting app. And they also just won their first award for Best True Crime from Discover Pods.